Wow. How oh, adventurous. Well, after Nepal, uh, he, you know, uh, he gets down to Roxal, to the Indian border, and takes the train to Patna on the Ganges River, and then Benares, and meditating at the Burning Ghats. You got a dozen separate funeral pyres. Mm-hmm. Ganges sparkling in the moonlight in the background. Huh? Makes mortality a reality. Yeah. Well, then down to Old Delhi, he uh, holds up in the Crown Hotel for a while. The old beatnik scene there. Yeah, a lot of beatniks, uh, like Allen Ginsberg and so on. They hold up in the Crown and read thick books on the Upanishads and uh, the Bhagavad Gita. And, uh, well, you know, if you want to shoot morphine or heroin, uh, the drugstore's just around the corner, huh? Well, and then, uh, you know, he hitchhiked up the Grand Trunk Road, built by Akbar the Great, that kind of Buddhist enlightened emperor, and crossed the Jhelum River to Peshawar. Peshawar. And then, uh, yeah, f uh, flying up to Chitral. Got to check out Chitral. But the mountain weather packs up at the last minute and the flight is canceled. Sound familiar? Uh, well, the white uh, Zadu, uh, yeah, she gets all turned on. Oh, uh, look, I've, I li just lived in Chitral for two years. Wondering what the hell she's going to Europe for. Uh, and soon her natural storytelling charisma sweeps over her. And the Zaduas and the Aussie, they're not in a hotel room in Harad anymore. No. They're riding horses with Mastuji tribesmen. Yeah. Braided trees, Ebex, the Kafiris, mm -hmm. that bootleg, huh? Fucks the whole village in one long afternoon. Well, uh, during dramatic twists in these tail-biting tales, uh, they hit the hookah <laughs> heavily and <coughs> repeatedly. The white Zadu asks, where is she? It disappears in the white smoke of pure hashish. We're talking pure hashish, you know, flames <laughs> leaping up to the top, pure fire, not mixed with anything. Yeah. Um... Yeah, and the Aussie, he just, he, what? Well, look, um, mate, uh, what an amazing scene in the mountains. You are treated like a queen. Um, you eat luscious fruit. Well, until your teeth drop out, you gallop along mountain trails, 7,000 meters, play polo in the highest polo field in the world, up in the Shandar Plateau, 12,500 feet polo field, 4,000 meters. Uh, Sharif hands the Zadu, the long-stemmed uh, hookah slinky. So what the hell are you going to London for, mate? You want to end up uh, with pneumonia, sleeping under a bridge, like a bum? Well, the Zadu asks, huh? she winces apologetically uh, to get my teeth fixed. The Aussie, uh-uh, relentless. Hell, you don't look that bad to me, mate. I mean, you just got that one big one missing in the front. Who the hell gives a shit? Um, lay off that fruit. You're talking about get your ass back to the uh, Mustouge, that Victorian palace. I wish I could have found it. With your mate up there, Sharif. Damn, look at, uh, 
You got a proper British passport. You're in the British Commonwealth of Nations, 40 Commonwealth of Nations like Australia. We never need visas. You could live up there your whole life and never need to hassle with a visa. Well, this no frills assessment blows her mind. Yeah. Of the hippie who would be queen? Shocked. She flashes why she cannot endure Western civilization anymore. Western civilization, so hardcore, anti exotic. No, yeah. just sentence execution for the fun-loving, uh, sexy, adventurous spirit. Where's the rite of passage? Uh, where's the thrill of being young and alive and discovering who you really are? You know, those houses in here? Dreadfully rectangular, huh? Dumbed down by gin, the whole culture, they don't have any watchtowers in the corners of their houses to defend themselves against enemies. Foolishly exposed. Industrial Revolution. Why is England proud of the goddamn Industrial Revolution? It just cut the whole sex out of everything. Desexualized the whole British nation. No zest, no vitality, no laughter. Dumb, numbing gin, cars, television jingles. Uh, and British society abdicated the whole organic family. No village. No village. You don't even hear birds sing over there. Trendy modern European family? Pathetic compared to the staunch tribal bonded spirit among the Patans and the Chitralis where wandering strangers, total strangers are protected against Storms, avalanches, hunger, other humans, they'll protect you until, even if it kills them. That's where they're coming from. And my soul was healed to the core by the heartwarming, chitrally, loving kindness. And they just, whatever I, I, I truly was, and made me a queen. I went native. And the courage to do that opened my heart chakra. All the way.